In this example, I'm going to show you how to run two sample t-tests in Sigma XL. The example I'm going to go through is taken from the Sigma XL workbook. Uh, now, for this example, we are using the customer data workbook, and you can find this workbook in the sample data folder, which is in the Sigma XL installation directory. Now, once you have the workbook open, you're going to click on the Sigma XL tab, and you're going to click on statistical tools, and then you're going to select two sample t-test. If it's not already, make sure your entire data table is selected and click Next. Now, for this example, make sure Stacked Column Format is selected. Uh, we are going to set our overall satisfaction uh, to be the numeric data variable. For the Group category, select Customer Type. Now, you're going to set your Null Hypothesis to be a mean difference of equal to zero. And for the Alternative Hypothesis, you're going to set that mean difference to be not equal to zero. And make sure Assume Equal Variances is checked, and click OK. Now it's going to ask you to select two items from the following list. Um, so just select Customer Types uh, 2 and 3, and click OK. And this output is created. Now right away we can see that the mean difference here is 0 0.56. Now our, our hypothesized mean difference is 0, so obviously that's different. And, of course, you can see the difference uh, between Customer Types 2 right here in their mean. Customer Type 2 has a mean of 4.2, and Customer Type 3 has a mean of 3.6. And our p-value tells us that that difference is statistically significant. The value of 0 .0007 tells us we should reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the mean customer satisfaction is significantly different between Customer Types 2 and 3. And this would actually confirm previous findings. Now we're going to go through a paired t-test. Now we're using a different, um, a different workbook for this example. For this example, you want to open uh, the file called Diet Cola. Once again, it's also available in your sample data folder. Now these are the results of a before and after taste test on sweetness for Diet Cola. Ten tasters were used and one month elapsed with the cola in warm storage between the before and after results. Now we're going to do a one sample t-test on the column of differences. So with the Sigma XL tab selected, select Statistical Tools, and then you're going to select One Sample T-Test in Confidence Intervals. Now again, make sure your entire data table is selected, and click OK. Now for our numeric data variable Y, we are going to select Difference. Make sure Stacked Column Format is selected. Now our Null Hypothesis is going to be a mean of equal to zero, and our alternative hypothesis is going to be a mean of less than zero. Now after inputting these settings you can click on OK and these results are shown and right away we can see by looking at the p-value of 0.12 that we should reject the null hypothesis and we can conclude that the sweetness has in fact decreased. Now we're going to redo the analysis using a paired t-test. So click on sheet one of the data set Click on the Statistical Tools, and select Paired T-Test. Now this time we're going to select After as the Numeric Data Variable 1, and Before as Numeric Data Variable 2. Uh, this time again, select Mean Difference of Equal to Zero, Alternative Hypothesis of a Mean Difference Less Than Zero, and click OK. And right away we can see here, that the results are identical to the one sample t-test analysis of the difference column. Now we're going to run an unpaired two sample t-test versus the paired t-test. So make sure that uh, your Diet Cola file is still open. Click on Sheet 1 of your data set, click on Statistical Tools, and click on Two Sample t-test. Make sure the data table is selected and click Next. Now this time you're going to select Unstacked Column Format, you're going to select After and Before as your numeric data variables. Uh, your mean difference, um, your null hypothesis is going to be a mean difference of equal to zero. Alternative hypothesis is going to be a mean difference of less than zero. Uh, make sure Assume Equal Variances is checked, and click OK. Now looking at this, now we have a p-value of 0 0.07, which indicates we failed to reject our null hypothesis. So you might ask what changed. Well, note the standard error of the mean of the paired t-test here is 0 
compared to the standard error difference of the unpaired test here, the one we just ran, which is 0 0.66. So you might ask where that additional variability comes from in the two sample t test. Well, the additional vari variation is due to uh, the person to person taste scores. Uh, therefore, the paired t-test is the appropriate test to use here. Now, to determine power and sample size for a two-sample t-test, you can use the power and sample size calculator or the power and sample size worksheet. Now, to use these tools, uh, what you're going to do uh, is you're going to click on Statistical Tools. Now, you're going to go down to Power and Sample Size Calculators, and you're going to select Two-Sample t-test calculator. Now make sure that um, solve for power 1 minus beta is selected. For your sample size, you're going to enter a value of 30. Uh, for your difference, you're going to enter a value of 1. Leave standard deviation at 1 and your significance level at 0 0.05. And note that we're calculating the likelihood, or rather the power or likelihood of detection, given that mean 1 minus mean 2 equals 1, with a sample size for each group of 30, a standard deviation of 1, and a significance level of 0 0.05, and our, uh, our alternative hypothesis not equal to the two-sided test. Now you can click on OK, and you'll see the, this report is displayed. And we have a, uh, a power level of 0 0.97, which is good. Hence, we have the basis for the minimum sample size of uh, 30 rule of thumb used for continuous data.